Hey everybody, Gnome here, server X160, proud deputy of the Diamond Dogs. So, if you're looking for a good guild, you're a hard player, um, honestly, you could spend a lot of money or not spend a lot of money. <clears throat> we take everybody who just likes to play and learn the game, uh, likes to participate, be a little social from time to time. We have a good group here. In fact, one thing that was crazy with me is that whenever we had a server merge, someone who lives not on, like maybe five miles away from me ended up merging onto my server and we met and we've eaten a few times together and we're good friends. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, Bloodline, here's Alithis bringing people together. Yeah, I like that one. Anyhow, so we have a new clan to kind of dig into today. Hopefully you're excited. Uh, they are a warrior class, which we kind of expected that. We talked about that in one of the last videos. Uh, it's the Shoten clan, and they look really cool. They kind of have these masks on, have this really nice appearance. Like, let's check out the male here. Uh, oh, man, he looks awesome. Look at his hair. Nice, deep purple. He's kind of got the runes on his blades there. Two katanas, it looks like. I think those are katanas. Um, maybe, or some variant. Uh, he's got the kind of the the evil skulls on his belt there. What else do we got? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, on the back there, the face, right in the back. So really cool to look at. Nice visual. Let's swap over here, top right button, uh, to the female who looks even cooler. With her mask and the white hair with the horns coming out and the shoulder, the little pauldron there, the smiley, the laughy face. That is a cool champion. And so I originally was, oh, look at that, with the two little uh, wakasashi. Uh, no, no, I forgot what the, the little ones are called, the little blades. Uh, but, yeah, she looks really cool. Um, and then, yeah, she's got the same three little, uh, the same ones they used on the male down her belt. And, yeah, she looks really cool. And even seeing her in-game, she looks really fun, too. Uh, this champ is neat. So, cool visuals. Good job. Uh, Goat Games. Nice, nice champion graphics here. Uh, so let's begin with the male. We'll kind of run through his abilities. And then I don't have any arenas left right now, but I do have a dungeon to send up at a high level so we can look at their abilities. Um, I also have um, Valley going right now with some good players in there. Like, they're whooping me all over the place. But, hey, it's fun. I like this. A little bit of competition. There's some mooches, of course. We'll call them out in this video. Uh, but we're also going to summon for these guys. Uh, see what we can get. Um, I don't know which one I want. I kind of looked at their abilities. They both are really cool. So let's dig into the mail first. Um, oh, yeah. No guild conquest going. So it'd just be valley... Uh, I got my sails and sabers attack, so we can do those too. Um, so the passive of the mail is armor of the nether knight. The champion gains one stack of demon armor for each shield received. Increasing strength by 10% and fortitude by 10% for 10 seconds, stacking up to four times. Okay, the first thing I'm thinking is uh, steadfast. Putting a steadfast on them. One, it always makes people look really cool, so it'd probably make them look cooler. And then, um, so each time he gets a shield, so he's going to get four shields, and then something's going to happen. But it increases his strength by 10% for two, by 10% for four seconds, four times. So 40% strength, 40% fortitude uh, with each stack. And you're getting a shield because that's what triggers this. So you're also getting a shield. So four stacks of champion deals damage equal to 12% of the max health once to nearby enemies oh that's really weird wording uh but i guess it just does an aoe to everyone nearby and does 12 percent of their max health capped it uh 20 times the strength or two thousand percent the effect has an eight second cooldown 
Uh, that's interesting. It's saying cooldown. So he can be using his other abilities, which his ultimate is channeled. So that makes sense. Demon Masks Dread. The champion summons a huge mask in front that blows out an evil aura. Wording. Dealing 600% strength damage. I think that's what they meant. 600% strength. It's not written in there. 600% damage in total to enemies in a fan-shaped area ahead, reducing their attack speed by 40% for 6 seconds. For just 40% for 6 seconds? Hmm. And it's in a fan-shaped. Huh. This is going to be interesting. Meanwhile, the champion gains a shield equal to 250% of strength that lasts 6 seconds upon each skill hit. So, like, if he hits three enemies, does he get 750% of his strength worth of a shield? Um, I guess we're going to find out. But they last for six seconds, so that's not that long. <clears throat> Quickly charge... Uh, this is his ultimate, Shadow of the Nether Moon, And it even has ult, uh, colon. That's funny. That's really funny. And that was Demon Mass Dread. This is ult. Shadow of the Nether Moon. If you're going to do that, Go Games, please do it to everybody's ult. And then maybe put active colon and put the name of their active and then passive colon put the name of the passive. Or, here's an idea, you could just take ult colon out of this one so that it's not even a thing. And just back to the normal. And you could increase the um, size of it because like look at that that's a bigger font on demon masks dread and that's smaller because you have to have that old colon in there anyhow let's get into it sorry get a little picky here quickly charges behind the furthest enemy okay that's cool so that's most likely going to be a water and sun or some kind of damage dealer dealing 400 <clears throat> percent strength damage I think so. 400% strength damage to all enemies along the way and leaving a shadow at the start. Okay, so he leaves a, an image of himself and he goes behind the furthest one. So that could be really big distance there. The caster and its shadow simultaneously uh, launch launches three sword auras in each other's direction, each dealing damage equal to 350%, 350%, and 500% of strength. The shadow only deals 70% damage. So here's a question. They each throw that? Let's, what the heck? This is insane. So he throws, uh, what is a total of? 700, so that's 1200% strength damage he does. And the shadow does 70% of that, which is going to be about 900. So that's almost 2000% strength damage. Between the two, and it says, what else do we got? The third sword aura inflicts fear for 2.5 seconds. Insane. Does that's everybody caught in between there? Or, or just gets hit by the third if someone moves in there. So if you have the ability to pull people into the ult, that could work too. Uh, like a uh, male ho ult. The caster becomes immune to control effects while casting the skill. Each time unleashing sword auras... The caster gains a shield equal to 300% of strength that lasts 6 seconds. Wow. So you get 3 auras, 3 sword auras, so you get 900% strength worth of a shield. Wow. And that's guaranteed. That's not if they hit anybody. So, and he's immune to control effects while he's doing this. So, I want to see how long his ult goes off for. See how long it goes off for. Okay, so... This guy looks insane. I'm most likely going to be going for him. Uh, he looks awesome. His skills look insane. I don't like the attack speed slow, but hey, at least it does something on top of all that damage and giving him a shield. So he's got a lot going for him. And I've recently got Guardian Stones for my Warriors, so this guy will make a nice addition. Uh, let's see what we got for the female here. All right. Start with her passive Smite of the Nether Knight. Smite of the Nether Knight. Smite of the Nether Knight. Try saying that four times fast. Uh, enchants the champion's weapon after casting an active skill or ultimate attack. Okay, so when she uses an active or an ultimate, then this happens. The champion's damage dealt within the next six seconds becomes true damage. Oh, nice. 
ignoring all uh, fortitude and armor and strength resistance, I think. Or fortitude is armor, but you know what I mean. With a 40% lifesteal effect. Wow. With a stackable duration. So all of her damage has 40% lifesteal. So if she casts her ult and then casts her active after that, she's going to not only keep this going and get another one, but she's going, so she's alternating her ultimate and her active getting this bonus here of the life steal. So she's going to be healing herself a lot. That's nice. Active. Three demon slash. The caster quickly slashes enemies in a fan shaped area in front. Uh, that's a wording. Dealing a total of 750% damage for an active before jumping up and spinning down, knocking them airborne, dealing another 400%. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of early damage in an active, especially if you group up the enemy. So I'm thinking female polar bear or um, female tide raiser. If enemies are sealed, hmm, what's a sealed? Deals extra damage equal to 15% of their max health. No cap. No cap. She's going to do a lot of damage to bosses because she could literally do... 15% of their max health if she hits them with their active while they're sealed. Or maybe there's a cap and they don't state it. Uh, and reduces the champion's active skill cooldown by 35%. That is huge. Because remember, the so every if enemies are sealed and she uses this ability, her active refreshes quicker. And you want that because her passive that's just going off every time she uses an active or ultimate. Okay, so here's the ultimate. And they did it here too. Ult colon grip of the dead. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Come on. You can do this. Um, let me get a drink of coffee first. Yeah. Mm. This is an early video. Um, the champion summons a demonic hand from underneath the target. <clears throat> That's cool. Wonder if it pulls him into the ground. Uh, dealing 750% damage to nearby enemies, sealing their abilities for six seconds, during which they can only launch normal attacks, cannot gain energy, and take 35% more damage. That is nuts. Like, that's really insane. What an ability. So they can't use any of their abilities, sealing their abilities. They can only do normal attacks. So if you have like a female Bjorn Krieger, she, she's not going to get hurt, uh, during, because she has all that fortitude and she drains their fortitude. So I'm already thinking a great combination synergy right now is going to be this female Shoten. And female polar bear. Like, they're going to go together like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Okay. So, 35% more damage is huge. Also, think pairing with the male polar bear. Because, look, they can't gain energy and their abilities are sealed. So, if you have the male polar bear, that means perhaps his shiver is going to go off another time at the 12-second mark and just get them frozen. And while they're frozen, they take more damage, like another 30 or 35% more damage. So I'm already thinking her, female polar bear, and male polar bear, and having... Uh, that team's going to need a healer. But having... Um, you need this girl to go off fast, so pure heart or having a male lume in the group to make the male polar bears ult go off quicker the female polar bears and though the female polar bear doesn't gain energy that quick i notice so maybe giving her the clan trait of the shoten might be beneficial so think about that ladies and gentlemen all right anyhow the seal okay if a seal we haven't even finished this yet if a sealed enemy is killed the seal will move to another random enemy nearby and last for two seconds. Okay. 
That's really awesome, too. So it just keeps pot. And this is an AOE seal, it sounds like. So it's going to seal people. And if any of those get killed, it's going to pass it on to someone else. Maybe someone that already had the seal. Seals cannot be removed. So no pure heart removal or uh, male lume active removal. And the duration can stack. So if it's already on them for six seconds and you kill somebody... It'll go to somebody else and say they were down to four seconds. They'll now be sealed back to six seconds. So that's super powerful. She seems insane. Both of these champions, if you build for warriors and have the right gear, I think can be really nutso. So, uh, oh, wow. What do y'all think? That's... These are this is a really powerful clan, but I think again you have to give them get them to 15 stars, put some vigor on them to make them competitive. So um, let's go ahead and summon and see what we're gonna get, and um, we'll go from there. Does that sound good? All right, let's do this. All right, the time for summonings has begun. Let us bring forth the parade. Just kidding. The Sanctum of the Oni King. The prob probability of getting Shoten crown champions has increased temporarily. So, here we go. A lot of people have been getting luck at this time, so I'm hoping I can share in some of that, get the companion with 300. Not a very good start. <laughs> a Shoten female epic. The male... Um, rare. The male Akunas, that's nice. I think that'll be helpful. I, I might need those. Alright, come on. Let's see the second draw here. Oh, man. Even rougher than the first one. Oh, boy. Mythic card. I can't wait. So, alright. Let's start it off with those five. <clears throat> come on. We start. We've started horribly. Man, zero companion parts so far. Two more female fodder. This is a nightmare. Come on. There we go. Six of them. That's what I'm talking about. That makes up for some of those horrible pools. There's another female. Still don't really know what I'm going to go with on this clan. Oh, female Esterir. That is great. Because even if I don't use her, I could really use her um, um, clan trait, which is, I think it's like thorny something or other. Or it's uh, whenever people attack the, the person, the champion, they take more damage, basically. And there's some male fodder. That was a pretty, that was, that was a, that was a pretty good one. Female Esther is real nice. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Nice swords, dude. Definitely looks like a warrior type. We'll skip that. She looks really cool. I like the mask. <sighs> Whirlwind. Fun. All right. So let's continue. We got, we're at, what, 11 or so? Come on. There's 12. And then we're getting some medals here for the Guardian Stones, which is nice from getting all these unlocked. Uh, too bad we don't have the Might Challenge anymore. I'd be getting some awesome Might. Oh, horrible pool. Don't really need anything in that one. Ouch. But there's five more. So we're somewhere around 17, 18... Not not the best of starts, but there's 19 maybe, 18 or 19. A female one, the male spider's good, the female almat's good. Champs that I have that I need some fodder to be able to transfer some uh, traits over to them. There's another one, maybe that's our 20 mark. Oh, 19 mark. We're at 19. And there's the female and the male. Nice. All right, we're hitting the 100. 100 summons here. Oof. Female Kavak. Maybe that's about it. Mel, uh, Mel Water and Sun. I, I've been putting some different traits on him and trying them. So what I'd really like is a female Mythic Kavak 
to put on my male water and sun and see how that does. I don't think that's going to happen, but I can always hope. So there's, okay, I'm, I need any gold tongue for steadfast. There's a couple male spiders and a companion part, so that puts us at 20. We're at 20, so we're a third of the way there. We're about, oh, about a third of the way to 300. Two males on this one. Uh, anything else I really need? The male Corbett was helpful. Because my Corbett's are mythic companions. Um, female Gold Tongue, that was good. Female and male of the new clan. The Shoten Crown. There's five more there. We're moving along nicely. Here we go. The male... A male Kojiki, which is good. I'm trying to build him to a female there. Tons of male spiders. Male Esterier is nice. I just got him to 15 star. Oh, whoa, this is a big one. This is a big old juicy one. And it's not really letting me skip. There we go. Whoa, female Shun, which I can make mythic of the monkeys now. Uh, female Corbett. I don't think I had a mythic one of her. I don't know. Maybe I did. Um, but female of the Shoten. So that's nice. We're at the 150. So we get the mythic male. <clears throat> that's nice. Get some gold medals, silver medals, all the kind of medals. There's a one companion part. I'll take it. Another five would sure be nice though. Come on. Give us something good here. There's another one. I'll take it. Beggars can't be choosers. There's a male Askavarg. I could use that. I want to try some different traits on him. Try out some new things that I've learned. All right, let's continue. There's there's a big one. Oh, boy. Male Trevain. But actually, the, the really important one is two female gold tongues. That's, that's really helpful for uh, clan trait movement. All right, let's keep the party going. Summon. Come on, times five. Oh, there's another times one. Slowly building those up, though. I can I can deal with that. And I need more fodder anyways with a lot of summon. There is the female Kavak. There is the female Kavak, of course. Oh, beautiful. So I'm putting her on my male water and sun because I don't have them. Uh, now I don't have to get that clan to mythic, which is not. I'm going to eventually, but I don't have to right now. Oh, that's really cool. I told y'all that's what I would really like, and it came true, and yay. Uh, that doesn't happen very often with me. All right, here's times five. Come on. Nope. But, oh. Oh, yeah, sorry, I can make mythic female Thunderlords. And I need to level her, her up, but this is kind of a bummer. But two of the males there of the Shoten and a female. So that was a good one for fodder. Um, or female polar bear, good. Um, other than that, nothing great. There's five more. Let's see where we're at. We're at 39, so we need 21 more. Come on, baby. Roll them dice. Give me a times five. We could use it. Nothing. Not not even any Shoten. Oh, that this is the worst draw that I've gotten. I mean, granted, there's some fodder, but that was the worst draw I've gotten so far. All right, next. Oh, come on. Mel Goltong, happy to take you. Female Shun, happy to take you as a rare. Uh, male fodder. But that was that was pretty weak. Come on, this is it times five. Nothing. Nothing. I have too many of these mythic male um Orost. I don't need any more. Come on. Work with me here, baby. Come on. Hey, I don't need that at all. And there's no fodder. Oh, come on. That was a rough one. Let's shape up or ship out. Where's my? There's two of them. All right. We're at 41. 41 and moving. 41 and moving. 46 because we'll have that plus five. There's a plus one. There's two males and a female. Yeah. 
Two male Kojikis. That was a good pull. Let's pick these up real quick. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Summon it up. Come on. Times five. Oh, times two. We're getting there. So we need 11. We need 11 more. And we're about to hit the 300 mark. So we're kind of in a little bit of a, a bind here. Oh, come on. Hopefully this doesn't really destroy my cache of... So here's the female, Mythic. Pretty awesome. Gold medals coming in. Gold medals coming in. What do we got? Oh, nothing. Come on. Oh, I never get the... Okay, we're at 310 and counting. Here we go. This is another Mythic male Orost. Why? Why? Uh, but there's a companion part. What are we at? Maybe 10? We need 10? So we need a couple times fives if we're ever, ever going to pull times five again. Male Dawnbreaker's good there, I think. Or actually, I have him. Oh, there's two female fodders, but just hurting me. Hurting me bad, baby. Come on. Come on. Give me some companion parts. I'm asking. There we go. Oh, man. Look at that. Times 10 right there, and it finishes it up for me right at 60. And then we get a worthless mythic female choir, which I can already make. There we go. We're in the money. All right, do y'all want to see it? Here we go. Let's meet her. Let's go to meet her. Where is she? She's not even showing up for some reason. Hello. Where you at? She wasn't at the beginning. Huh. Maybe there's an update I haven't gotten. Okay, sorry. Uh, maybe y'all don't get to see her. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I can... I can show, level her up, and get the rest going. All right, let's do this. All right, now comes the fun part. This is where we actually get to see the abilities and then put them into action with some gameplay. So let me bring you into the Dungeon Descent. We're at floor 23, but I want to show you some of these abilities. So first, let's talk about his... Um, his passive, his active, and his ultimate. I'll put him in the back row. He'll get some uh, buffs from the sprites in the back row. And you could just kind of see him better. So he comes in, knocked back. Nice. He's getting controlled. Anyhow, there's the active, and it gave him a huge shield. There's his ult. He throws three blades. Look at his shield. It's more than his life. And he's got energetic on, I think. Uh, maybe he doesn't have energetic. Maybe it's honorable, but either way, that's a huge shield. And look, it took all that damage, but now he didn't have one. There's his ultimate again. And I didn't quite see his passive, but may, uh, let's look out for it this next time. Uh, you can't really compare damage right now, so that's unimportant. Uh, let's try this guy right here. And let's look for that passive, okay? So his cone for his active is just that breath right there. It only hit like maybe one, maybe two people there. But his ult right there hits the whole team, does the fear for 2.5 seconds. There's his active. It looks pretty cool, but it's interesting. I like his ult. I like him leaving the shadow, and it seems to do a ton of damage. So that's going to be a nice... Uh, ability and the fear is is fantastic it, it forces the enemy to move in a short area so if you have something to be able to utilize that that's really good too is active okay you, his shield is like purple that's really cool um, and again I don't know if steadfast gives him uh, the part of his active but I have steadfast on him hoping that one you know it gives one of the four shields uh, towards his passive because remember the passive does AOE max uh, con percent I think it's like 15% at max level um, let's go ahead and take on the boss real quick here we go he goes up 
He's going to do his active. No, it's, he should follow up with his... Okay, I think that little aura around him, it's a quick one. It's like a little purple aura around him, and you'll see it. Um, hold on. No, there's his old. That's probably going to wipe him up. Anyhow, awesome animations. A ton of damage, I feel. And uh, this this champion has some potential because, again, he goes to the furthest enemy with his ultimate. So that is kind of a backline killer a little bit. And then he stays back there, I believe, and keeps wailing on that person with his uh, passive and his active. Let's see again. We want to make sure we have this guy. So I'm looking for his passive. There's his active. He's got the shield on, which is purple. Okay, there's his ultimate. Throws those. Okay, and he does stay in the back line. So that's really good. So with a pure heart, this champion could be really good. Uh, right now, mine is 11 stars, so level 440. And he does some pretty good damage. Let's look at the stats again real quick before we go any further. So I leveled them both. I leveled the male and the female up to 440. So here's the female and the male's up here. He has better gear. So, oh, not female gold tongue. So let's look at the male real quick. Here are the traits. Steadfast in hopes that that shield goes towards his passive. And remember, his passive is at four stacks, which is when he gets four shields, it's activated. And it does uh, AoE max health damage to enemies, which is really nice. Wait, at four stacks, does it reset? Stick. Or does it just stay at four and he keeps the buff? That's interesting. It's got to reset. Um, with his active, it reduces attack speed as well. And grants a shield upon each skill hit. So, if maybe if we hit three people as opposed to one, let's look at the amount of shield that he gets from it. That might be good. Oh, yeah. And then I wanted to show you what we're working with. So, we have for equipment... A level 20, 15, 15, 15. Uh, level 7 runes, I believe. He's got agile, honorable, brutal, and steadfast. And then their, uh, their clan trait gives 200 energy when taking active skill or ultimate attack damage. So that means that he is getting to his ultimate quicker. So we want, you want to kind of emphasize the, whatever he needs in his ultimate which is strength he needs so maybe an aggressive could be possibly good um yeah because look his shield is based off of strength his damage is all based off of strength along with the shadow so maybe an aggressive or a fighting will um if you really want to beef him out pretty good but i think pure heart's important as you want him to get his ult off pretty quickly. And then, again, getting rid of um, debuffs is always a nice thing, too. So, maybe in my case, I would go Steadfast, Brutal, Pure Heart, and he might not need Honorable if you get enough Vigor on him and you get him high enough le level. So, instead of Honorable... Uh, you could go energetic, but I'd probably go aggressive because he's getting his hits in and you'll have a rapid shot on your team. So that'll uh, add towards that. So let's go do a couple more fights. We need to leave some for the female who I also have on the team. So this will be the last one. But notice he doesn't have the ability to heal himself. So he needs a healer on his team. He can do shield, so his survivability is really nice. Um, there's his ultimate, he just slashes them all up, stays in their back line, fears them, is able to come up, and now they're grouped up so he can use his active, but I'm not sure if it hit the other guy. Um, 
there's his ult again. So I'm having a trouble seeing his passive. We'll see on the female if hers is a bit more um, visible. So, let me introduce you to the female. We went over his abilities, so let's go over hers. She is quite incredible as well. They're both very unique. They both have their niche. They, we'll talk about that here shortly, but notice she has steadfast, brutal, honorable, and energetic. And she only has level 10 gear without any runes. Well, for purposes of this, let's go ahead and do a quick insert. Give her a couple level 6s and a 5 and a 7. Um, and then her skills are all level 11. So her passive, she's going to chant the weapon and... Uh, they de she deals true damage for six seconds after an active skill or ultimate skill, and it also has a life steal effect. So it's a good way for her for sustainability, survivability. Her active remember is the she. I I don't know if it's a fan shaped in front of her. Kind of looks more like an AOE around her, uh, or maybe just the the knock that the. 357.1% strength damage as her knocking them airborne and dealing that damage AOE maybe but the fan shape thing uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what goes on here um, but then if she's got them sealed she does a max health without any limiter and also she reduces the cooldown of her active significantly by about a third and then with her ultimate, um, she uses a hand. It does a ton of damage to AoE. It seals them for six seconds. They can only do normal attacks. They don't gain energy. And they take 30% more damage, which is nice. If they're killed, it spreads. It cannot be removed, and the duration stacked. We went over all that. So, uh Again, her traits, in her, I just put those on her so she had survivability uh, for the purposes of the video. So we could do some sails and sabers or we could do some arena. And I don't have any arena, so we're going to do some sails and sabers. But uh, also, let me show you some of this. Um, first, females' abilities. All right. So... She's in. We'll put her in the number five position and see what she can do. She gets that life steal, so that's going to help her survive a bit more. So this is... There. Okay, she slashed forward. She knocked him up, did a ton of damage. There's her seal right there, so they're sealed. If she would have had her active again while there's... Oh, she just did. It should have reduced the cooldown of her active by a third, so maybe she'll have it go off before her next ult. Uh, maybe not with that succubus ult on her. She didn't seem to gain any energy. There's her slash. And I also have steadfast on her for some uh, defense. So they're all sealed. There's her active. So they... Uh, uh, I forget what happens. Um, well, they are taking more damage while they're sealed too. So when she uses her active, that's really nice. Uh, let's give her another shot on this weaker enemy. Notice her sustain is really nice due to that lifesteal. Um, so, boom. And then she has true damage. And she also has the lifesteal for six seconds. Okay, her ult's off. They're not sealed anymore. Her active hasn't gone on. There it goes. Active. Ton of damage from that active. And then there's her ult again. And it hit the back row that time. So that was kind of nice. Again, synergies for her are going to be anyone that pulls them into range of her active and her ultimate. So we're thinking female polar bear. We're thinking female tide razor. Um, we're thinking female silken. I have some of them in the party here with a male Kojiki just because he's around her level a little bit. All right. Here she goes. She uses her ultimate, hits all four of them, kills the, the companion of the, what is that? Not Sally Horn. I forget the, Huntsdorf. All right, she uses her ult again there, seals them, and she gets her active while they're sealed. But, um, 
Yeah, I wonder if that if that was enough of the active to be able to get the uh, cooldown reduction. So there's the active, followed by an ult right there. They just got knocked up, and bam! They are hurting. She does a lot of damage, AoE damage especially. And that sealing people, making them take more damage, that's fantastic for a male water and sun. That's fantastic. Um has no stunning abilities, just a knock-up. So the male polar bear doesn't really synergize as well. And I wanted to put a couple champs with them real quick, too, to show you some of these synergies. So there's her active and knock-up, followed by the ultimate, and they're all sealed, so they're taking more damage. So if she does use her active real quick, all right, they all just took a lot more damage. You can You can tell the difference. And then remember, after she uses any of her abilities, she does true damage and she gets life steal. So that's really powerful. Um, and then having the shield from Steadfast is really nice. So trying to think of some traits to put on her. Um, definitely need to have Brutal. Um, because she has Steadfast, maybe she doesn't need Honorable or Energetic because she is also knocking them up. And if you have someone who pulls people in, like the female polar bear, you she applies a weakening effect with her pull-in, so that could give a little more survivability. So let's try her with the polar bear, see how that does. So putting polar bear in the middle, uh, polar bear should bring one of the backliners. Um, so there's the active, the knockdown that didn't hit the backliner that got pulled in, but here's the ult, hits four of them instead, and now look... Brings in the fifth one, knock up, oh wow, and see, this is something, the problem with male, or female polar bear, she's got so much armor, she doesn't generate any energy from taking normal attacks, basically, and so it's really hard to get her, um, it's really hard to get her ultimate off, so I'm thinking about putting one of the new Shoten trait clans onto her, so she can generate a little bit more energy because it's when she takes active or ultimate skills and it's got a cooldown. So she could get that off probably maybe twice and then be able to get her uh, ultimate off at the actual mark. So I'm thinking about that on her. That might be something I go over in the Namish school. So let's go ahead and bring also somebody in with the, the spider. Yeah, I really like female silk and I've always been a fan. A uh, champ, uh, person on our server, Mr. Thing, introduced me. I really, look at that. Right there in the middle gets hit by all that damage. That's wonderful. And look, the ultimate brings him in. Look at all that control. And there's the female ultimate from the female polar bear. Yeah. That was great. Let's look at some damage here. Um, and there it is. Female Shoten. Getting it in there. Female Polar Bear and Female Silken do not have Brutal, so I could see why that happened like it did. But just a, f a fun little team there. Now think of a Female Ho in there. You could perhaps put a Female Ho in there, uh, powering the Female Polar Bear in the P1 position. Um, but in this case, let's check this out. I'm going to put in my this this old dude. And we're going to put him in the P1 position because he can heal himself and take reduced damage with his ultimate, male Kojiki. And so he's going to be applying his buffs, though, to her. And let's see what she can do with that while pulling people in. Let's do this. So she's empowered. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, people are all silenced. He, she's getting healed, he's getting healed, she's got the lifesteal, she just ulted four of the five enemy champions, they're all getting controlled with the uh, silk, now think of your last position being a healer, like female Ho, male Lume, uh, male Lume would be really nice, so everybody can get their ultimates off a little bit quicker, um, it could be a male Silken too, that would do well, because you have the male Kojiki protecting everybody with silence. And so they're all using normal attacks which don't even hurt female polar bear. And then if she can get her ult off quicker. So male Lume 
could allow all these ults to go off quicker, which is good, except uh, perhaps male Kojiki, you don't really care for his ult to go off too early. Or maybe it could help because it could get you through a um, male water and sun early ultimate. Um, so in this case, let's go ahead and put the male in there too. See what he can contribute. We'll have him over there in the P3 position. Here we go. So there's the female Silken ulting. The male it used his breath. There's the female ultimate sealing everybody. And then the female polar bear just boom, boom, boom. I don't even know if she... Oh, yeah, she hit. She hit him. Nice. That was beautiful. Let's look at damage. Female Shoten. Yes. Okay, that's encouraging. Let's get, let's give it another shot if we have any enemies left here. We have a couple. So let's get them rolling. Come on, male Shoten. Show us what you can do. Everyone's getting pulled in. You should be able to rock them all. F female Silken going nuts. There's the male. There he is. Boom, boom. Oh, I don't know if it was early enough, though. Female and male Shoten really holding it down. Both of them. At, look at that. Both of them way under. But all the other champs are kind of support champs. So you can kind of see what they're going to do. The male soaked up more damage. Uh, he healed more apparently. Somehow. I don't think he, he is healing himself. Um, unless something added healing to him. I don't think so. Uh, anyhow, the female just did spectacular. I, I think I'm going to go with the female. I was going to go with the male because I think he has the potential to pump out a ton of damage. But I'm really liking that female. And look how cool she looks with the Steadfast in her number one trait slot. She just looks so cool. In fact, let's put her up on the front line this time. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Male Kojiki going to give his buff to the male this time. See how he does. And he's going to heal him up. Give him that heal. Which he needs. Cause, so male Kojiki might go really well with male Shoten. Bam! Everybody pulled in. Everybody silenced. That's a really good team makeup. I think we're going to put that one down here. Um, check it out. Female Shoten just demolishing. Even though she didn't have the male Kojiki buff, she just demolished because all the p support set her up to succeed. And remember, she is honorable and energetic. Imagine her with even more powerful stuff. So that's everything we got in, in Dungeon Descent. Uh, oh, I didn't get it. Y'all want to see me just open this? All right. You want to see what I get from the goblin? Maybe this will give you a little hint about what I spend my diamonds on. Yeah, there we go, baby. All right, so let's do some more. Sorry if I startled you. I don't have any arena available. Let's look in Valley, see if we have some cool fights in here. I know y'all like to see some of my Valley fights. This, These are really fun. Uh, really, look at this. All my champs are here at the start. Let's go ahead and collect our mill. Because if y'all don't know, which you should know by now if you watch my videos, you want to get these activity points. Collecting rewards means collecting from your mill. So make sure you do that. Uh, looks like maybe a champion's right here. Nope. So we can move up. We have plenty of... Le Let's look who's here. Oh, Demon Diva has just been whooping me all over the place. Uh, let's see who's right here. There's two of them. Altered Beast, one of his lower levels. And then Demon Diva... Another super powerful team. Uh, but we can maybe try. Let's look down here. Purple's kind of got us surrounded. Sticks. I think I can maybe take sticks. So if I take sticks as one of my powerful... Oh, man. They have all the shrines, though. This is a really inopportune position. Uh, there's nobody small here to combat. So I'm going to try to take my main team... Uh, Actually, I'm going to kind of change it around based off my enemy here. So maybe we can kind of break through here. Uh, Demon Diva's team. Demon Diva has multiple male water and suns. That's that's not fun. Uh, but that one's got a male Askavarg. So let's try to break through to the middle, actually. And then we'll put a Shoten in there. 
Uh, Altered Beast? Actually, we could fight this Altered... Look, Altered Beast has Mel Shoten, too. Should we fight him with a female Shoten? Let's do it. Um, we'll see. And remember, all the shrines belong with... Oh, here's a red player. Kirky, that's who we're taking on. Let's do it. Bring him in. All right, who do y'all want? Uh, let's try the female first. Uh, and remember, they're low-level skills. Most of them level 11 or lower. Oh, I made some. I made some pre-made teams so we can kind of try them out. So I wasn't gonna have to sit here all the, the whole time. So here's some males, and then here's some possible female teams. So let's look at this this female team here first. There's a lot of pool. It's like maximum pool with the female. We got some healing. Oh, one of the other champs is deployed in a party. Let's get him out of there. There we go. Melume, you can hang out there. Actually, no. This has got 300 energy anyways. So let's get some people rocking here. We'll use one of the pre-made rosters. And we'll change them around because we can also keep going against Demon Diva while we're down here. So let's try this one with Mel Askavarg. This one right here. So we got a, kind of some lower people. I don't have many guardian stones in the um, blood crafts, but let's try this out. I should have enough control. Let's sneak up on him. So I'm at 161 million. So I'm at definitely at a handicap. But let's see how this does. We got the male Askavard kind of leading the charge. So. Um, he's got some gems and maybe level 10 gear. So the male just used, uh, oh, on the Scarlet. Nice. Look at the silence. Look at this. Romulus ulting getting ready to, to go off. Oh, my Romulus is dead. The Scarlet went off. Oh, no. This is, okay. The male uses his alt. He's gonna, oh, look at the shields and the heel. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, the Scarlet's still alive, though. The Scarlet's about to go off. Oh, no, this is going to hurt. Oh, the female kept it up. Okay, look, this male shield is doing amazing. Oh, wow. Look at that punch up, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're in doubt about the the male, look at that. He didn't, Romulus kind of led the charge. But remember, I have no defensive guardian stones. He might not even have the best armor that I have for Bloodcraft Legends. But Romulus is just a monster. Look at that. But look at the male. He didn't do he did the second most damage on the team. But remember, he's only eleven star. And he I don't even think he has the best gear uh, I have for Warriors either. But just how we set that up, we were able to get in look at that Scarlet damage. Just took took me hard. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we got that down. We got some players hurt on that team. So let's try the female now. Uh, yeah, we got three down on that team. So we have Altered Beast here. Let's go for Altered Beast. And remember, Altered Beast has all the shrines where Red did not. So this is going to be an even more difficult fight. But let's use the female. Let's try to control the battle. And let's actually use Mel Lume. Let's bring him in. Not only will he provide heals, but he'll also allow us to all ult a little quicker. And he's got 44 vigor on him, which is kind of nice. Let's have the female spider. Come on. There you go. Let's have the female bear. She's going to be bringing some people into the middle. Um, we're going to, of course, let's showcase our our female. And then, you know, also what I want to do, I really like that. Oh, we, oh, darn it. Never mind. So let's let's have another control champion and maybe some more heals. Let's do that. Let's do something like this. Yeah. Actually, we need to kind of protect 
the female a little bit so let's let her enter the battle a little later um, we could actually do something like that all right what do you think think this will do she should get some male Akuna healing and male Lume healing um, yeah let's give it a shot so bring my champs up so let's sneak in nice and quiet we're going in for an ambush 168 million a huge punch up and they have all the shrines but what I'm looking to try to do right now is to control it actually you know what oh I already scooched up sorry we're going in for battle let's give it a shot 222 million against 168 million so my male Lume has steadfast oh 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 the, oh the female's already down didn't even get a chance to see her in action darn it so the female polar bear getting her ult off right there uh people getting webbed but the male shoten coming up in the back just this guy is really look how fast he's attacking too he's attacking so fast that was a really good team altered beast good job let's look at damage here my male Akuna just demolishing it. Female Shoten just died way too quick. Look at their male Shoten though. Really good up there. That was a really good team. I like going against that team. With a lot of newer champs. I think that was a well played team, Altered Beast. Well done. Um, okay. So now let's try to break through with my like one of my main team kind of compositions here. Are y'all okay with that? Check it out. Um who am I missing? Oh, wait, we use Mel Lume. We don't have a Mel Lume. What are we going to do? Okay, let's try. Let's do this a little differently. Let's use Mel Corbett. And uh, let's put Mel Corbett in the back row to get the high spirited and some of the back row um, sprite buffs. Um, okay, I kind of like how that's looking. My Mel Water and Sun is nice and protected. Let's go after this diva. Wait, where's my... Oh, good. Look, I could keep using that. We can kind of change up teams. Uh, so, actually, I'm going to go after Altered Beast again, if it's not too long. It's 40 seconds. Uh, let's go after the diva. We're going to sneak up. We're at 233 million, so we're actually not too handicapped here against 286 million. We're a bit handicapped, actually we are. So male polar bear can amplify male core, oh, we're at times two, sorry. Uh, oh man, that Romulus already took us down so far. Oh. So basically you need a champ to push into Romulus that takes that active because that just destroyed us. Didn't even get a chance to really play that one, that was boring. Um, all right, let's go to some sales and sabers then. All right, we need to kind of change up our roster, that's for sure. Oh, whoa, not going to fight Rivers. Um, we're kind of weak right now anyway, so. Okay, somebody like this, so we, we could showcase some champs here. Odin. Get ready, buddy. We're going to take you on. So, let's create a fun roster. But first, let's tear down all these rosters. All right. So our first roster, let's go ahead and showcase the female. Let's give this another shot. She died really quickly, so we're definitely going to need to protect her. Um, we're still going to want to bring people in. And let's get a spider for protection and healing from the web. And then also... We could potentially do a female hoe. And then... 
We could offer a whole bunch of healing and do something like this if we need to. Um, but no. Let's weirdly put in the female spider to just pull some more. And we'll actually have her come from over here with the high spirited buff and get some male spider web. So let's go with that as the as for the females group. So she can use a lot of her ceiling in AoE. And for the males group, let's do something with these two that have great synergy together. And then the male's gonna go to the furthest enemy and really harass a lot, so that's going to be helpful. Um, we got the male in there. Um, let it, let's get the healing from the male Akuna. She's got, um, shield, so she, she'll be fine. Let's put the male who's a little lower level, kind of back. Actually, let's put him in the back row. She's got shield. She could take the middle. And what else do we need here? Hmm. Yeah, let's get a let's get a pool too, and a stun that'll be helpful. Uh, this guy does benefit from shields, and I have a female Akuna, but I, I don't know how I feel about that right now. So let's try something like this for our second group, and then the third group. Let's just go with something kind of fun. I've really been enjoying these two. That's a good fun combo. Let's push into the enemy, and let's go quicker. So, Mel, oh, we could, yeah, let's see how this works. There's this. And he probably won't even pull the back two in. So let's just go ahead and do this for some guaranteed pull action. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's give it a shot. Yay. All right, my, my teams aren't maximized. Let's, how do we want to put them up? Uh, the 111, let's put that with this team, see how we can control them. So let's do something like that. These are weaker, but we'll also find some stronger teams too. I just want to show you how these work though. Let's take off times two. Female Almont uses her active. Uh, male Akuna hits all of them, that kind of. But you notice the male has a strong shield. As long as you give him some healing, he does really well. So he's also a really viable option. The female's just so squishy. Let's see how she does here. So she used her active. Let's see if she can get her... I, okay, there's her ult. She seals three of them. Um, female spider shooting webs, and she kind of finished it up with the male, I think. I wish we could look at stats for these fights. And then this one should just be a slaughter. Hmm. Boom. Male polar bear. I've been working on him. I got him up to 40 vigor or so. It's kind of nice. All right, let's try some tougher teams here. Oh, that's so oh, horrible matchmaking. Horrible. There we go. This is perfect. So we'll do my big team against their big team in the middle. And then we will put the female against the bottom team. And put the male. Uh, no, we'll put the male against the bottom team and the female against the top team. So here we go. Female against the top team. Male against the bottom team. And our big hitter in the middle. This is going to be good. Let's watch. All right. So, female polar bear pulls. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, female spider got interrupted from bringing female gold tongue. But there's webs everywhere, so people might get controlled, which she just did. Uh, the female shoten is just working on this polar bear down here. But really... Had a shield, knocked him up, doing a lot of damage. Female spider shoots silk, gets everybody wrapped up even more, but female spider's really low. Uh, female polar bear, there's female spider brought in female gold tongue. Uh, 
Dang, female spider got controlled by male Corbett. There's the control. There's the seal. Oh, yeah. We kept the whole team alive. Good job. That was a good fight. This is the big versus the big. My male polar bear's getting low. Ask of our grand in. Male polar bear just uses alt, so all control effects are going to be amplified. Uh, there's male water and sun with the female lion stone for a complete demolish with the punch up. Uh, even match punch up. And let's see. Malakuna freezes the whole line of them. That was really well done. The male is just biting to be able to ult, which he does. Oh, man. Look at this. He's getting his blades in. He's getting his shield. There's the stun followed by the female Almat ult, which keeps everyone protected. The female Akuna ult, which is demolishing there. This is a little punch up if we win. There's the male Akuna active, which stuns them. The female Kojiki ult, which reduces their energy heavily. Um, there's the male again with his ult. Gonna fear. Send him running. There's the male Akuna ult. Oh, wow. Female Almat reducing energy. This person is so frozen. They can't... What, who is that? Female Lionstone? Uh, they can't even do anything. They're stunned after control, after fear. Oh, that's actually a really nice team. What do y'all think? Did you like that team? Post in the comments. Uh, so we got some more attacks. Let's see. This is really fun. Ooh, do y'all want to try some major... Oh, no. No, no, not Krieger. Krieger's too strong for me, even when I'm trying really hard with my main teams. So, this one's a little too weak. Uh, let's let's roll the dice here. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, Rivers. Too strong. So, let's put our main team on their... Oh, wow. They really activate quick. But, they don't have a male Lume. So, I might be able to take their main team with mine. So, I'm going to put my main team on the roster. One... Uh, for ro roster two, they have, if you dive them, ooh, they got a lot of AoE stun. You don't want to dive them. So, that team, I'm going to put the male, Shoten, and then the female, we're going to put on the final team. Oh, no, this is going to be so tough. Actually, this the male was surprising. Let's put the male on the final team and the female on the middle team. Oh, I'm I'm scared. Here we go, though. They're going to demolish us. But I have hope. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how the theory crafting does. This is a huge punch-up if any of them are a win. So there's my primary team. Escovar goes in. We get the knock-up from the male polar bear active. He gets in there quick. Male Escovar using his ult to keep himself safe. Male water and sun pulsing. We oh, yeah, just demolishing. Look at this punch-up. 110 million punch up. Yeah, baby. That's how we do it around here. All right. Here's the next team. It'd be 100 million punch up if we get it. We're pulling in some champs. We get pulled into the middle, but this is good. We want them all stacked up. Uh, the female uses her. There's the female Shoten. She uses her seal. Yes. Everyone's sealed for six seconds. Polar bear stunning them. Oh, no, Zeistan just pounced and killed my female Shoten. Uh, they're getting heals, too much heals for me to handle. Oh, man, their Go Gokhan or Gohan or whatever just went in my back area. Woo! They charge in. The male's getting shield, so he's staying pretty well. Female Almat. Oh, there's the male Akuna ult. There's all the stuns here. The male Shoten just goes to the back line, is, is on Phoenix right now. We just took out their, oh man, their male Soul Keeper's down. Feared the Phoenix for a second. That was helpful. Scarlet going off, killing my whole team. Oh man. The male Shoten's trying his best here. Uh, everybody's around. Oh, she goes down my Tide Razor. The male goes in, trying his best. Not able to do anything. So, that was an awesome battle rivers way to go that was that was really fun thank you for that um i had a good punch up 100 million punch up y'all so uh two week sorry faza keep working on your team you'll get there beast mode i'm not even in your 
in your alley, in your tier, man. Here we go. This is what we need right here. Okay, so the female is going to be against roster one. My main team against roster two. And the male against roster three. And they're all relatively around each other. So I think I said female, main, male. Female, main, male. Okay, there we go. Kitsune, I think that's who this is. Good luck. Here we go. Let's battle. So, Polar Bear is going to end up pulling in the male hoe. Oh, the female spider beat him to it. Everybody's got web underneath them, so they can get a uh, female Polar Bear with the ult. Uh, this is a little punch down for me. Uh, their metal Corbett just silenced my team, did a lot of damage to my female Silken, but destroyed them. All right. This is my main team against their main team. Oh, man, my male Askavarg, luckily is able to ult really quick to save my male water and sun pulsing almost saves the male Askavarg and finishes off the enemy team that was a punch up for me um and then here's a we're really even on this this is a little tiny punch up but we'll see they're all frozen from male akuna there goes oh man look at this male Shoten ult, look at all that damage, and he shields every time. He fears them all. Male Akuna ults, female Kojiki. Oh, this is a really good team makeup right here. I think I might use my female Tide Razor in this team because she's doing really well. Or maybe just swap the female Tide Razor for one something else. But yeah, that was an odd. No. I like the female Tide Razor in there. That's a really good team. So you can always learn new things when you're fighting people here. So that would be it. Lord Galactic is a bit too strong for me. That was, That's punching up too far. Let's see. That's a little too weak. Horrible matchmaking, I swear. And so, all right. We're just going to have to go with this. Yeah, I'm sorry, boys and girls, but this is what we got. Um, let's just have some fun with it, I guess. So, here's the female group again. I need to put her maybe on the left side so she goes up to the group because when she uses her active, she, it's an AoE. So, we need that to, in the seal. We need it to hit everybody. So, there's the seal and the micro stuns, but it's not quick enough. Male Zeist, or sorry, Zeistin goes off too soon. Um, the male Askavarg in there quickly. Uh, isn't this funny? Female lion stone with the nine tails. You think that it's a melee version of like the female. Oh, it's so funny looking. I'm not even used to it yet. Uh oh. My phone's getting low battery. I forgot to be charging it. There we are. So, I uh, sorry I didn't narrate this one, but again, goes off flawlessly, though I'm more than double their power, so it should. Um, and, by the way, I'm going to do a little rant real quick. Sails and Sabers is the worst mode in the entire game. Like, it's how they do the matchmaking. I ha We have all the most powerful people in here. Uh, let's look. Baron C, who like, look, all the people that win, all the tournaments are in here. It's like kind of ridiculous. And they, we don't have anything like that yet. We have to go against them. If there's a whole nother tier, please fix that because this is kind of awful. Um, okay, let's see what else we have. We got the sails and sabers out of the way. Um, maybe there's some valley options we can do again so you can see. Sorry I don't have any arena. I used them all. I got excited and wanted to fight people, and I did. So, okay, everybody's back alive. We could take another shot at Demon Diva, which I'd like to do. And to do that, we are going to use the male Askavarg. Um, so the female one didn't have the male Akuna. I forgot who was on the female one. Um, but the male one, he's still there. I might have to just try him out and kill him off real quick. All right, he's going to go against beast mode. Oh, yeah, he's got my male Askavarg. Oh, junk. So I'm actually going to retreat him. 
so that I can use some of those champs. So I bring him back to home base. He gets 120 energy. Y'all know that trick by now. So let's let's get that team that was in there that was doing really well. And the sales and sabers group. It was a male Acuna. I know it was a female tide raiser too. Everybody should be here. Where's my... There, she, she's visible. Sorry, I'm blind. Female Tide Raiser is going... Um, which is going to be interesting for my main team here again. <clears throat> so, she was pulling people into the middle, if I recall. Uh, we had... Sorry, everybody. I'm a little slow on this. I'm going to go look at the Sales and Sabres groups again and see which ones that we had. So I go into the roster. Okay. So the Ask of Arg, oh yeah, was on my male water and sun team with the male polar bear. The female has the male, female hoe along with the female Bjorn Krieger. Um, we're going to move that over, but we had the female Almat. Female Tide Razor, female Kojiki, and then male. Okay, and remember, these don't even have the appropriate traits on them, and that's what makes them really fun, because they're getting this impact without the right traits. Imagine what they will do if they have the right traits on them. So, that's just a lot of fun, if you ask me. So we're gonna try to break through with the main team. Remember, we had the male Askavarg in here. And then we had the, um, well, oh, Mel Lume, of course. So that's what we're doing right there. So, and then we're also going to want to fight with, since female polar bear group can get over there, let's make this the male group because we got some great results out of that. Um, oh, is he locked up in the other group right now? He is so... This is going to be the... The female polar bear. See, and as I mentioned, they are... Kind of further down. They're people that don't have the right traits. They don't have a lot of the right... A lot of things. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I'm getting a little lag here. So, with this one, we're putting the male. And then we had female Almat. Female Kojiki. This one had the male. Didn't we have him in the back row to protect him a little bit? And then, who was the final champ of this group? Oh. Yes, female tighter. Yeah, it was like this. Boom. We're ready. Yeah, I'm going to try to take somebody out. I'm gonna, Let's try to get that demon diva out of the way. She's a pain in the booty. So, and then this one had the female. We were pulling it in with the female bear. And then we had the female. She's got a lot of buffs that she's bringing. But we also had the female hoe. So... Actually, we can kind of change this group a little bit. Maybe do something a little bit more this way. So let's put the female in there. Let's showcase her. And remember, we're going to put her behind. So when the female polar bear brings people in, we can catch them in the web. And she can just really wail on them. So and then who else are we missing? Maybe we should just do it like this, actually. Okay, let's give that a shot. That should be fun. All right, and then I can explain things in just a moment. So first things first. Let's see, do they still own the metal shrines? They sure do. Surprise, surprise. Um, who's over here? This one is Styx. Oh, yeah, and that's got a Romulus. So when we're going against a Romulus, we kind of need an Askavarg. 
which is what we're bringing to the table. Um, let's go in for the kill here with our primary team just to see if we can break through. Or even kill any of them. If we can kill any of them, then I can mop them up with another team. So Mel Askovar goes, oh no, Romulus is hitting two of my key players. Oh, but he gets he gets knocked up. He's a little controlled. Come on, FEMA. Oh, no. I get completely controlled. Male Lume, though, allowed us... Nope, kind of got controlled there. So we're going to... Yep, it was the fight of the male... Oh, but their male water and sun is down. So maybe we can give them another try and see if we can take them. So now we do have a group that can go a far distance. And I'm going to try that beast mode team again with this team our new team and see what we can do all right get ready get excited so they have a huge shrine of advantage they have they have me kind of in the tough spot here so the male's up there he did the slow he got his shield everybody's all grouped up male kunis frost kind of went off to the side but there goes female kojiki all which reduces crowd control effects Gives my team energy and reduces the enemy team's energy. There, okay, fe female Tide Razor just brought in the last enemy. Um, we're really getting the AoE going now. The male shield just, he just feared all of them and he's got a huge shield right now. Uh, there's Eisten just pounced, which hurt my team big time. Male Akuna could potentially die to their male. Oh, he did to the active of the male. There goes female Kojiki's ult. Hopefully she can live right now. Uh, female Alma just trying to protect everybody. And it's not quite enough. But did you all see how well we did? If we had the right traits, if we had the right tools, we could have completely beaten that group. And if we were higher vigor, that was a, that's a really good team. I'm kind of... Thinking I might level up the male just so that I can kind of round out that team. We're about to do the female. But let's go ahead and get this down because it was nice. You all saw the synergies that were going on. Uh, Grawl on my server has been having great luck with female Kojiki. And I kind of want to get in on that if you know what I mean. Yeah. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and throw it in. Let's let's throw that team down. Because it's really good. Alright. So it was the male, Shoten. And we had him in the back. And so he would be getting high-spirited if we had the appropriate traits. Male Akuna was really keeping everybody centered as well. I like that. Uh, female Almat, who amplifies female Kojiki. There's the female Kojiki, who normally gets a higher shield, but she... Her traits or her skills are only like level 9. <clears throat> and then our final piece of the puzzle was the female Tide Razor, who was just doing so well. But another potential that we could do is the female, the female Polar Bear and just keep the female Tide Razor in my primary group, which I tend to really like. Like, male Askavarg is really good. But I really like that the female Tide Razor. So let's put the female Polar Bear in here. Uh, and look at that. Three Warriors and two Mages. What a cool team. And that again allows me to uh, narrow my Guardian Stones so that all these people have maximum buffs and skills. Um, so... I don't know. What do y'all think? Female Tide Razor for the stun or the lowering of the armor? I think the lowering of the armor is better. And she pulls people. Yeah, let's do it this way. There we go. That is a really nice team. And then I really want to do something with the male Kojiki because he's so darn powerful. Like you could even put the male Kojiki with the female. So let's go ahead and make a team with this real quick. That female Shoten, getting him, 
getting his buff. He could be on the front row. And if you have a male Askavarg with him, what's nice about that is male Askavarg pushes all the enemies in on each other. And they get hit with male Kojiki's ultimate, which is awesome. Uh, he doesn't. He does need strength actually to to use his active, um, and then we can do a lot of damage like people do to me with a Romulus in there, and then perhaps did we use female hoe yet? I for I forgot. We did not use female hoe, so with that we have the female hoe healing the entire team. Um, we don't really need the spider, but the spider could be a really nice, um, compliment. So more like something like this, the male spider, because he's going to amplify the, your attacks and, uh, the enemy's damage. And also Romulus can kind of protect people all while Mel Kojiki puts down his aura for everybody. So this could be a really solid team right here. And we're getting team heals. Everything's looking good. And then we're going to do the male water and sun team. We don't have Askavarg. But we do. Have, which I really enjoy. Askavarg's great for certain situations. So you might just want to change up your team. But these are kind of just generic teams that I have rocking right now. Which I, I don't have, I'm not utilizing my 80 Vigor male Soul Keeper, which is a shame. Think about taking the Vigor off of them, which would be sad. But there's so many champs that I enjoy more. And like male Polar Bear, I'm having a ton of fun with. Really amplifies people's stuns, so that's really nice. So I really would like to do something like this with female Sylphos. But... I don't have any Guardian Stones in Marksman right now. So, or Male Corbett to increase critical uh, rates. And then I could put Female Shun's trait on my Male Water and the Sun. Um, uh, and then again, everybody's able to ultimate a little bit quicker due to the Male Lume. And so, uh, this is really nice right here. It's more of an enemy control team as opposed to an ally amplify team. And I would normally have the female lion stone in there. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to try this because he's going to amplify my male water and sun with his passive really nicely. And he's got pretty high vigor too. So he's, he's usable. So let's go ahead and collect people up here. Um, have the male polar bear be an off tank down there. And male Corbett will run up the middle and try to get an attack and then use his active real quick. So let's try that as some of our teams there. And we'll use these in the valley now that our teams had a chance to revive. Um, and again, my actual champs aren't the most best gear, not, don't have the all completely 15 abilities since I'm not using any blood, uh, bloodcraft. Um, let's again collect our, our mill. All right. So we're going to make, oh, that team is still, is still down. Oh, okay. It's a few seconds. So we got that new team in this team. Which I like that idea right there. But also this requires me to to level up both of the Shoten. And that can be a little difficult. So we're all here so we all at least have 120 energy. So I can pound teams against Demon Diva, which is pretty funny. I don't know where she's at on the merit board, and I don't really care. Oh, the male's already in a group. Okay. Did I change up one of the teams? Oh, yeah. I don't have female Tide Razor anymore in the group. 
it's actually female polar bear. So we're going to give that a shot just like that. And again, we can just kind of fight Demon Diva until we beat her. Uh, but we'll have to wait to resurrect between each time. So there's the male Askavarg was not going to be in this team. Didn't I have the female Tide Razor? Let's see. So whoever my male Water and Sun team was going to be. Oh, it's the male Corbett instead of female Lionstone. Which, then I don't get the high-spirited and stuff, so that's kind of a disadvantage. In fact, maybe we could do something more like this, since we don't get the high-spirited. Um, we'll see how that goes right there. And then the female Shoten group, because this is a Shoten video, remember that. Female Shoten team is going to be... Perfect. Let's give that a run. It's pretty weak, but we can at least test it. And then the male Shoten, that team's all ready to go. So, who do y'all want to see first? Just my male Water and Sun, see if we can break, like, maybe beat a person or two. So, let's try that first. Male Water and Sun team. And so, the difference now is we changed out female Water, uh, female Lionstone for male Corbett. And we move the team around since we don't have some of the buffs. So it goes in. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The Romulus. Is j See, the Romulus just kills us. Like, that's where that's where I'm struggling right here. My male water and sun survives, but that's pointless. Who cares? All right. So that was a big failure. We needed, actually, the Askavarg team to go in on Demon Diva. And remember, we can beat bigger teams like this, but also Demon Diva is using a strong strategy of using Mel Askavarg with Romulus, which is a great um, combo. But I'm hoping if mine charges in, then I can distract the Romulus and save some of my champions some damage, because that's what's really getting us. So I don't think I can do anything else unless there's a champion right here. Okay, I guess I can't. Never mind then. I'm not, I don't think we're going to wait any longer. And so that's that. That's what we got. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the, the Shoten clan. Uh, hopefully I introduced you to the, all the abilities and uh, some good possible synergies with them. Uh, you understand their clan trait gives them energy, so if they have pure heart, so also I need to get the right traits on them. Uh, I'm most likely, I think, going to level the male, because I really liked him in that team composition that we have him in. Uh, I, th I felt that he did really well. Um, it was fun to watch, too. So, um, and if you want to see that team one more time, maybe we can take it against Demon Diva. Uh, but it'll probably get demolished really quick, but here's Dungeon Descent. We're doing the mail. Yeah, it was just working so well. Like, I can't believe how efficient that was doing in Cells and Sabres. Nice synergizing. Okay, let's fight the tough one, tougher one. So let's watch this again real quick. All right, the female pulls people in, but they all died so quick, you can't really see it. Sorry. But don't forget, the female Kojiki gives all, like, the grouped up amount of your allies energy so if you have pure heart on them, they're going to go off quicker because they're going to have the energy to use their ultimate. And so that means for the male, for her, for the polar bear, for female Almat, and it lays down little things for them too. So another possibility is putting female Kavak in this team, but I kind of like the the male um, Shoten. He's, he, he's got nice potential in here. And it's just, that's a spot I need. I really don't need the the seal from the female Shoten, I don't think. 
So I'm going to level the male. Um, yeah, I'm decided. I decided in this video that I'm going to level up the male. And then, so let me show you what I'll end up doing too is since I'll level him up and he'll be in the group with the female Bjorn Krieger, I'll make sure he gets the strongest weapon and he gets like really nice gear and gems. I'll make sure he's all got all level 15 abilities so he'll really be wrecking havoc. And then, so, as I mentioned, the traits for him, uh, everything scales heavily on his strength. Um, and he does max health based off the captain's strength. Uh, he gets immune to control effects. He's got all these shields that are based off of strength. He does all his damage based off of strength. So, maybe doing, definitely doing a pure heart because you want his ultimate to go off quickly. You can even do a pure heart if you have him with a male Lume because it's like if he doesn't get the pure heart before um, eight second mark when male Lume goes off, then you have that guaranteed still that he's going to ult earlier, which includes a fear, which delays all the enemy's ultimates, hopefully. That could be very powerful. So he doesn't really need the honorable, I noticed, because all the shields. And if he has a type of healing with him, that makes him really strong. Uh, but a pure heart's good. He doesn't need any energy from anything, but he does need attack speed from the rapid shot. Um, but so a steadfast is good, a brutal is good, an aggressive would be really good, maybe, and definitely a pure heart. So, and then a pure heart allows you to not have to be dependent on Mel Lume or the 10 second mark. He can actually go off and really do some damage. So, fun champion. I really like him. A lot of shields. You could also consider putting him with uh, the female Akuna because if she puts her ult on him, because he's a little squishy and he relies heavily on shields, then he would potentially get his passive stack because it says for each shield received i don't know even know if it works with steadfast yet i'm gonna have to do some tests but i really like him a lot and i think he goes well with the female polar bear because she's in there reducing uh enemy strength so he can be in there and take you know do some more melee their damage dealt sorry that's what she's reducing she's reducing their fortitude so he can do more damage with his breath attack and she's pulling enemies in and doing the um aoe attack which is many stuns um so maybe putting her with a female hoe and um the male um also could work miracles because right now i i don't have the female hoe on the team it's the male akuna uh but you could just as easily do the female hoe and put the female ho oh wow that's man i think male akuna actually works better because he does spot heals he does the a the group heal right there where the female polar bear bears bringing people in at, um, and she has the micro stuns that goes really well. Like that's a nice team. Uh, that is a really nice team. So, and we tried the male water and sun team in Valley, and it didn't work because we, like I said, we need something particular. Hmm. Excuse me. We need that, um, that Askavarg. So we get to go in here. Let's see. Oh, we revive in 15 seconds. So that means their energy will reset as well. We're going to go in with this 161 million team. And I don't think it's, oh, sorry, the 169 million team. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, we need that male Askavarg. So, yeah, we're going to go in with the male Askavarg team. Uh, see how we do. I don't think we're going to get very far. All right. But that male Askavarg just gives us a fighting chance, I feel. So he goes in, 
Oh no, the Mel Romulus. No, he was focused still on the team. Oh, I had the Mel Askovar in the wrong slot. Should have been up in the P1 position. Oops. Okay, well, that's that. We try it again. Let's see if there's anybody else here that we can fight. Nope. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, it's the Shoten clan kind of breakdown and analysis synergies. The females made for um, AOE, DPS, bring people in groups or rush to them with Mel Askovar, let her go with them. And then the male is more for line them up. He can, if you can get everybody but one backline person, he can kind of include that backliner with a fear and extra damage. All while he's got shielding and great uh, defensive protection. And so, um, yeah, great clan, great art. I'm a big fan. I wish I wouldn't have leveled up the female so I had fodder to get the male up to 15 star, but I'll level them up in the next air um, challenge, I think, um, either way. Uh, but, yeah, really fun clan. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, hit that follow, uh, apply to be part of the guild if you're interested, or talk to me on Discord or Supia or Fearheart. Uh, or um, more grave or grawl uh, somebody will get you all set up um, anyhow hopefully you like this video have a good day and uh, I'll see you next time